If you'd always wanted that full immersive FPV goggles experience like you get with the DJI Varta and you didn't want to spend that much money, around about a thousand pounds, or you didn't want to buy an FPV drone and FPV goggles like these and spend about a year learning how to fly, there is an alternative. It's this, the Drone Mask 2. It's a really simple concept. It's a face mask that you zip your phone into and with a pair of lenses inside that magnify the screen on your phone. You just run your drone controller app on the phone and hey presto, you're in the immersive world of FPV with pretty much any drone on the market. Now, you can use this with any drone that's got an app that you use to control it. The DJI Fly app is the obvious one but also Autel, Parrot and all sorts of legacy toy and hobby grade drones will have a fly up and that'll work on these. And when Drone Mask reached out to me to review this, I was pretty intrigued. I've seen loads of these types of goggles before. There's some free DIY cardboard ones if you want. And even DJI had their original goggles that cost around about $500 that weren't very successful. But these are priced at $180 and the build quality is excellent. And this is the second generation version, the Drose Mask 2 that fixes the issues of the previous version. But more importantly, are these something that you should consider buying? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Now these are very nicely made. You've sort of got this front part that holds your phone and it's finished in this quality grey fabric. And on the back you've got an injection molded face plate with a foam padding fixed on here. And then you've got this elasticated strap that's adjustable on the sides and the top. And because it's a fat strap, it's going to be very comfortable and you're probably going to be wearing this for quite a long time, so it's important that it is comfortable. I mean, it is an incredibly simple design that's been very well produced, and it just feels very well made. This front part here, it slides backwards and forwards so you can get the right focus for you, and then there's this little twist lock on here to keep it in place so it doesn't keep moving about. And if you look down here, you can see these massive dual lenses that give you that full widescreen experience. Now the front just unzips like this and again you can see the lenses down there and you simply put your phone in these elasticated clips to hold it in place. Now I've got a Galaxy S20 and it's got a case on it so it's quite big and that easily fits in here and I think that's going to be big enough for pretty much any phone that you want to use with this. Now if you're using something like the DJI Mini 3 like this guy here you just connect your controller to your phone using this extra long cable that's included and you zip it all up and you're ready to go and this will be the same for other DJI drones as well as things like Autel, Parrot or whatever. And some of the toy and the hobby grade phones use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to connect to the controller so you won't need a cable for that. So this just plugs in here and get it in. There we go. And then you just put that in there, zip it up and then you take it right up to where the cable comes out. Very neat. 
Very simple, but very nice. Now, Drone Mask was dreamt up by a couple of Norwegian students who crowdfunded the original Drone Mask 1. And this is the second generation Drone Mask 2 that fixes the issues that were on that first version. You get a couple of these handy slots to poke your fingers through on each side so you can easily use the touch screen on your phone to change settings on the app without having to take the goggles off. And you also get all the extra long cables that you need to connect to your phone. There's this one which works with Android, this one for iOS, and they even give you a mini USB to USC connector if you're using an older phone. Been cleverly thought out. Now, apart from how well these perform, we need to know if there's any light leaks and importantly, how comfortable are they? Well, actually, very comfortable indeed. And they need to be because unlike a regular FPV drone where you might be flying for about five or 10 minutes, if you're using, say, a DJI Mini 3, you might be wearing these for up to half an hour. So they need to be good and comfortable. And the fit on my face, well, it's actually very good, but faces are all shapes and sizes. And I think the foam on this mask faceplate actually works pretty well. There is a tiny amount of light leak that appears on the zip where the cable goes in, but it's not at all distracting when you've got the phone on. And this fat strap, well, it really is very comfy. Now, the weight of these on your face very much depends on the phone that you're using and how far forward you've got this pushed to adjust the focus. But for me, I think it's absolutely fine. Now, if you wear glasses, there's no problem. I'm slightly astigmatic and I wear these for night driving and there's no real issues. There's plenty of space inside here. In fact, when I've got these on, the image is stunning. So let's get out and give these a proper test. Right, so I've got everything set up. I've got the phone set up in here. I've got the drone in the air, just checking that it's flying. We've got plenty of satellites. We're out in the middle of nowhere, which is great. And there's a nice little lake over there that I want to explore. I've made sure that the drone is actually, the gimbal is on FPV rather than follow mode, just to simulate the whole FPV experience. So let's go and have a look and see how it looks. Oh, that looks fantastic. Oh, I'm liking this. So we've got plenty of satellites, 31 satellites. And what we've got here, 27 minutes on the battery, which is good. Really should put an MD filter on here to be honest. Let's go back over this way. This is very nice. Screen is looks very crisp. There's no blurring at the edges. A little bit of flooding over there. So I can see all the screen, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's looking very good. So let's just start recording. In through there. There we go. It's very easy to reach those buttons. This is so nice, it's very relaxing. Very different from the normal sort of FPV experience you get with a regular FPV drone. Try and steer clear of those birds.
Yeah, I'm liking this. It's very nice. Uh, the display doesn't seem to fog up. I mean, it's, it looks nice out here, but it's actually pretty cold, so it's sort of perfect um, fogging conditions. Yeah, that's very nice. Fantastic. Whether this is similar to an Avatar, I don't know. It's, it's a lot slower, of course. But that's not such a bad thing. Some more lakes over here. We've had some flooding around here. There's been... Um, these are floodplains. So they tend to get completely flooded deliberately to stop areas further down flooding. Awesome. There's me. Well, <laughs> that was surprisingly good fun. Uh, it's a very different experience. It's very relaxing just flying around like that, exploring an area like this. Um, you need to be a bit careful when you get near trees and things because you've got to be just be very aware of where the drone is, which is, you know, more difficult when you're wearing your goggles. But I'm used to flying with goggles all the time, so it's not too much of a problem. But if it's the first time you do it, you really need to take care and make sure you're in a big open space before you try it somewhere like this. Anyway, let's get back in the warm. Now, I have to say, these really surprise me. It's very different from my usual frantic FPV experience and because everything's so much slower and smoother than flying regular FPV drones, it's extremely relaxing flying around just exploring using the full FPV immersive experience. I don't have a DJI Avata, but I guess it's a very similar sort of feeling. Uh, there's definitely a place for these, and yes, they aren't the cheapest goggles like this at $180. But the build quality, the comfort, and the quality of the lenses is really very good. And unlike most FPV drones, if you get disoriented or you think you're getting too near things, you can just flip the mask up and hover until you sort yourself out. It's really quite nice. Now, I have got some top tips for using these. Start your drone fly up and get it connected up to your controller with your drone turned on and connected before you zip up your phone inside the mask. If the phone goes to sleep, it can be really annoying trying to wake it up whilst it's in here. And be very aware of what's around you and where the drone is. And don't stray too far. It's very easy to get captivated by what you see on the screen and lose track and you should be using a spotter if you're flying FPV, really. And lastly, take care flying fast and close to things. Latency can catch you out. Although something like the DJI Mini 3 in sport mode is much slower than an Avata or a regular FPV drone, what you see on the phone screen is delayed from what your drone is actually doing now and you may have already hit that branch on that tree before you even see it on the screen. So don't go too mad. And there's nothing stopping you using these to watch TV or movies on your phone and get that big immersive cinema experience. It's quite a nice idea. Now I put an affiliate link in the video description below where you can check out the latest prices delivery and availability in your area. As always, thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, why not subscribe or hit the like button and maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel. It'd be very much appreciated and I'll see you next time.